The victim of a beating captured on videotape outside the West Bank city of Hebron has spoken about the day he was set upon by Jewish settlers. Midhat Abu Karsh, a 30-year-old Palestinian teacher, was beaten for allegedly setting fire to fields in the area. Noor Auda reports on how he and human rights groups are now fighting back. Violent attacks by Israeli settlers on Palestinian civilians in the occupied West Bank continue unabated. Now Palestinians in some parts of the West Bank have found a way to fight back by documenting these attacks using handheld cameras distributed by the Israeli human rights organization Beit Salem. The most recent such incident took place on Saturday in Samoa, south of Hebron. Israeli settlers abducted Midhat Abu Karsh as he attempted to reach his field. Midhat was then brutally beaten and left tied to a pole. The settlers came from the hilltop and tied my hands behind my back with my shoelaces and then started beating me. It was brutal. There were four of them. They dragged me barefoot over the thorns until they reached the pole. Then they tied me to the pole from my hands and my neck. I was choking. I felt like I was being hanged. When Israeli soldiers finally arrived at the scene, they left Midhat tied to the pole while interrogating him. Israeli settlers gathered around the soldiers and one of them kicked Midhat in plain sight of the soldiers. But while the settlers were free to go, Midhat was arrested by the Israeli police. He was only released and his suspected attackers questioned after the Israeli police came under pressure following the release of this footage on Israeli and international televisions. According to Beit Salem, these attacks are not unusual. They also blame Israeli authorities for not holding the settlers accountable in most cases. Generally, Israelis who attack Palestinians or destroy their property in the occupied territories are not held accountable by the Israeli security forces for these offenses. The lack of accountability also extends to the Israeli Knesset. Following the release of this attack by a group of mass settlers in Susia, south of Hebron, in late June, the Knesset Secretariat still refused a request by a Palestinian Israeli Knesset member to discuss settler violence. Palestinians are hoping the settler attacks they document will create enough public pressure to stop them. But given the long-standing lax attitude of Israeli law enforcement towards settler violence, human rights organizations like Beit Salem say most Palestinians don't even bother reporting the settler attacks they come under. So what these organizations know and document remains the tip of the iceberg. Nur Al Jazeera, north of Ramallah.